Every day your keyboard picks up dust and it's probably a good idea to clean it once in a while. So today I will show you guys how to clean your keyboard. Alright now let's go over the things that you need to clean your keyboard. First thing you need is a keycap puller. It could be one of these that I have right here or one of these. But these tend to ruin your keycaps by scratching the sides of them. That's why I prefer using this keycap puller right here. You could also just use your hands but that's just going to take a really long time. Another useful thing that you need is tweezers. This right here is an air duster. I'll have a link down below in the description. It's a pretty useful product if you're working on keyboards. The one that I have has this brush on the end of it and you could also change the speed of it but if you don't have that you could just use a brush pretty much does the same thing but it takes a lot longer and the last three things you need is a bowl a paper towel and the q-tip so yeah that's pretty much everything you need to clean your keyboard some of the stuff i listed you don't really need like the air duster and tweezers but they are pretty useful now let me show you guys what keyboard we're going to be cleaning today this right here is my main keyboard that i use in my gaming setup and over the past couple months it's gotten pretty dirty so yeah now let's get into the first thing you need to do when cleaning your keyboard first thing you want to do is get your keyboard right in front of you and then your bowl or bucket whatever you're using uh put it right next to your keyboard and pretty much what you're gonna do is just take off your keycaps with the keycap puller and then just put them in the bucket bowl whatever you're using and do that for all of the keycaps Alright, so not only your case and keycaps can get really dirty, but inside of your keyboard can get really dirty as well. As you can see here, in between my switches, there's a lot of dust and hairs, but we're going to focus on that later. What you want to do is take your keycaps and go to your bathroom and go fill up your bowl with cold water. Once you've poured enough water and put soap in the bowl, do is just move the keycaps around. Now that the keycaps are in that bucket, take your paper towel and just put some water on it. And just use that paper towel to clean the board and the edges of it and once you've done that you could just take your air duster or if you don't have an air duster you could use a brush and just like wipe around the switches an uh, air duster is really useful because it just pushes all the dust away but you could do the same thing with a brush but it'll take longer all right so the air duster took so much of the dust off of the keyboard but now i'm just gonna go in with my brush to get more of the dust out of there And after that, I just went in with my air duster to make sure I got all of the dust out. And then I took my wet paper towel and cleaned in between the switches. And once you're done with all of that, your keyboard should look nice and clean, just how mine looks in the clip. Also, if you guys don't have a brush like this, you, can, you guys can use this like Q-tip right here. And just go in between the switches and just collect all of the dust. So now that the keyboard is all nice and clean, it's time to take the keycaps out of the water and let them dry for the next couple of hours. What you want to do is just pour the water out. Once you're done with that, put the keycaps onto a paper towel. And then just get another paper towel and pat them down. Now that I'm done with that, I put the keycaps in the bucket and then, and now I'm just gonna turn on this fan to really high. And after a bit, the keycaps should be dry. Alright, so the keycaps are all dry now. Now we're just gonna put them onto the keyboard. Alright, so now the keyboard is all clean and ready to use. If this video helped you guys out, hit that like button, subscribe, and go check out this video. And yeah, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.